Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Uno, and today we're going to be continuing our modded RimWorld 1.5 playthrough. So the mod we're going to be adding today, because we're going to be adding a mod each episode, is going to be from the Vanilla Expanded Series. This is going to be Vanilla Brewing. Essentially what this does is it adds a lot more beverages, I think alcoholic beverages, uh, for us to craft in-game, which gives our pawns, you know, special abilities. So, um... With our corn crop coming in, we're going to try and start processing some of that corn into whiskey to sell it to make some money uh, to traders. So we're going to go ahead and add that one. So let's fire this game up. All right, guys, here we are back in the game. And I'm trying to remember what was the last thing we did. Uh, oh, yeah, we uh, enslaved someone. We're having a hard time trying to recruit people. Um, there was, a, I think there was one guy we could have gotten last episode. Didn't turn out too hot. So uh, here we are. Let's see what we're we dealing with. A man hunting squirrel to jumper what are you doing right now oh well, you're sleeping maybe you should eat and get up how about that it shouldn't be too difficult i mean it's only a squirrel right all right get over there guys wait we gotta we gotta plan this right though because the squirrel can still hurt us all right let's go now with sheep in the front is he is he backing off um not quite okay Guys, I need you to be at the door. Don't leave. Oh, God, that was almost uh, slightly disastrous. I mean, it is only a squirrel and she is wearing armor, but you never know what could happen. All right, Slag is not doing too hot. What do you need, Slag? Oh, she's an alcoholic. All right, she is going through withdrawal. We did see that. All right, yeah, that's going to be it's going to be problematic as we try and deal with that. Uh, we wanted her at least to be up to plant some stuff you still can't move right that's right okay so she's just gonna be sitting there eating up resources that we really don't have uh at this point in the game and also we have to deal with this monkey who's going to be eating our food as well so uh we're gonna have to make some hard decisions here and we're probably going to end up releasing slag at some point but right now we kind of need her if we can get her up the whole point was for her to help us plant some heal root because we have none right now we're going to be using them um, just Hang on, let's speaking of heal root let's make okay just wanted to make sure she was only really roughly yeah she was only taking herbal medicine um since we do have that oh wait hang on who's researching stuff what are we working on smithing i kind of want to get um beer brewing going so we can start using our um our new mod we added okay mike is just botching everything what's wrong with you mike i know you're not the best farmer but jeez Plants is 4.72. That should be enough to harvest some corn, Mike. Let's go, pal. Well, the good news is Sheet is keeping up with the cooking. So that's fantastic. I think Jumper just... Yeah, he's just doing the walls right now. Which is going to come in handy. Can we put another door here? I'm not sure. All right. Well, we're kind of stagnant in terms of growth unless something happens. I kind of welcome a raid at this point. Because how else are we going to expand our numbers? I mean, I thought slag would be the answer in terms of giving us a bit more production on the farming aspect of things. But she's an alcoholic, and uh, I think I'm pretty, pretty sure she, yeah, her her moving is is slowly climbing. So I'm thinking it has to do something with the damage we did to her. So we're just going to have to wait for her to heal up a bit before we can get any usage out of it. But I'm worried that if it takes too long, she'll be affected by the uh, alcoholism, and she really won't be able to move. So. We're in a bit of a pickle. Can't tame this wild woman, can we? No, I don't think we can, to be honest. Uh, while Sheet does have seven handling, or rather seven animals, uh, his background <laughs> prohibits him from, uh, yeah, from uh, handling animals, which is just astounding. All right, we need to get Slag into the slave attire if we've made it yet. Did we make the slave attire? No, we didn't. What's she wearing? That's oh, her shirt is completely tattered. All right, so Slag is up. Slag has a break risk, though, because Ambrosia and alcohol. What were we thinking enslaving this person? Okay, did we did we tell her to not come in here? She's set to the right zone. Hang on, let's see. Uh, schedule. Yeah, Slag is going to have to be... I think that says slaves. Yeah, okay, slaves only. Oh, she's really good at child care. That's really good. Basic. Um, construction, we don't really need you to do that. Growing, that's your principal job. 
but that two smithing eh, not not remarkable you know this might this might work guys might get something out of it I'm, I'm considering increasing how many growing zones we have as well if we can just uh let slag do the growing i'm thinking what can we put here um maybe some cycloid yeah because now we have we have the ability to plant it all right so we might just take mike off planting altogether yeah we might do that all right so mike you know what you're no longer on planting you can do plant cutting if you'd like she has a slave collar on but she doesn't have the slave uh body strap right okay i was looking at that wrong um like you're not gonna like this i think if we take off her shirt she's gonna be complaining about being you know partially nude or whatever so we're gonna have to make a shirt as well as a, a as well as a slave um, body strap the problem i think with any of this is yeah we don't have enough fabrics oh that's what we need to make we need to get some cotton planted here let's go ahead and do one of those we may as well drop another zone right here next to the cycloid zone i know it's not the most fertile land but um let's see where's cotton we need to get that going immediately it's like what are you doing just planting all right so mike is going to be harvesting some trees jumper sleeping because he was up late last night Cheat's still cooking. I think that floor is mostly clean. It's not dirty where he's cooking, so we should be fine. Okay, jumper. Probably still going to be working on these walls, right? Yeah, we need to start getting someone to work on research. And it's pretty much only jumper. Intellect 4. I mean, they, they could do it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, Mike could also do some... We're searching while um, Jumper is building the walls up. Well, let's try that. Now, where did Mike get off to? Mike's cutting trees. Okay, we could use some extra wood, so that's not a problem. Only got 105 at the moment. Sheet, what are you doing, pal? Uh-oh. Hang on a sec. All right, so Slack is, is trying to binge on Ambrosia. We don't have any Ambrosia. Oh, we do have Ambrosia. Oh, crap. You know what? That might not be the worst thing. Uh, we might let her have some ambrosia. Maybe we should have just given it to her without, uh, yeah. All right, so you know what? That does keep her ambrosia addiction in check for a small amount of time. She's still going to be going through alcohol withdrawal, so that's not the worst thing. If she eats the, 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 the remaining three ambrosia, that's not the worst thing that can happen. All right, so I hope you, I hope you enjoy that, Slack, because that's all the ambrosia we have. Um... Let's just save this one little morsel. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. All right. Slag's got a new bed. And it's pretty good quality. Normal's not terrible. It's better than sleeping on the floor. What I really would like, though, Slag, is if you uh, could... Uh... What's your problem, Mike? Who insulted you? Let's see. Jumper? What are you doing? What are you doing, Jumper? Probably have enough wood lying about. For the time being, maybe we could just take her off these uh, research, uh, rather, sorry, these wood chopping tasks. Drinking beers now. Help yourselves, guys. I really don't have a problem with that. Should make sure that we're not setting, um, we're not going overboard with the whole uh, drug policy. We're, that's probably going to come back and bite us in the, in the ass later. Not setting it up now. Flag is still on a, on a binge instead of sleeping for some reason, making yourself more miserable. But she just oh, she's eating okay good we're gonna need some fuel soon uh how did vicky get inside our compound just walked in the door Maybe we should attack her and see what happens now if we attack her and lose um one of our guys may be injured but if we attack her and win we might be able to get someone else to join our team now she's not the best candidate she's delicate you genie? Why she's nymphed? Why is she delicate? I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, but like I was saying, the delicate is going to... Yeah, she takes more damage. She should be easy to subdue. And if we do subdue her, we might be able to recruit her. I'm just wondering if we have enough food at the moment. We don't want to take on too many uh, newcomers. 
So let's make this the prison barracks here. Alright, let's cancel it. Cancel this part here. And put a door there. So we're going to need at least a sleeping spot. So let's start with one of those for now. And then we drop a bed in there as well. Can you prioritize working on this? And then he goes right back to working on the wall. Fantastic. Is it a wooden door? Maybe we should make this door steel. Do we have steel? Yeah, we do. Alright, let's use a steel door instead. Just in case things go south. Where are you going, Joe? No, I need you to work on this. And this. Um, let's get a roof built over this area here. Okay. We're gonna need power in there, but we have what oh crap, where's Vicky? He wander off. Uh she's inside the building. How what the Okay. Um Yeah, we gotta take action now. I don't know. I mean she she might not hurt us, but there's always a possibility that she will. Alright guys, uh three of you come here. We're gonna have to go to war with Vicky. Now she's delicate, which is bad. So we might end up just straight up killing her. Um, let's slow down time a bit here. Um, Pete, you go up front. Jumper, come over here. Jumper, come over here. Alright, so she's going on revenge mode. Should go down pretty quickly, though. Um, I don't want to kill her, but... Yeah, okay, she's down. Good. Capture Vicky. Um, how's her health? She's bleeding in nine hours. I think I might try some good medicine on her. All right, yeah, so once she's been um, taken to prison. Why is Mike moving so slowly? She's not. I guess I'm just used to everyone moving fast. Quickly, Mike, she's dying. Are you going to try and tend those wounds without medicine? Um, uh, hmm. You might be able to pull it off. Um... We might just go for this anyway. Now, how much medicine do we have left? 26. That's not the best. All right. So, after... Okay. We're going we to be... Yeah, we got to be very careful here. So, draft, undraft. Have you uh, already tending? You need medicine. All right. So, we'll get some medicine. This is tricky. Um, I think we might have stopped the major bleeding. We're not gonna use how many? How many? How many are you carrying there, Mike? We see how many medicines you're carrying. The gear, not in your gear. Uh, usually they carry enough to treat all ailments. We don't want to do that necessarily. I mean, I think we stopped the worst of it with that one healing. Okay, so we only use one medicine, and. We still got a, a wound here. Maybe we'll just switch it back uh, to herbal and have her tend. I think Vicky's mostly out of danger. Yeah, she's not not bleeding to death right now, so that's good news. Right, yeah, we got to tend the radius to the right arm. The right arm has been tended. She just has an old gunshot wound there, right? Yeah. All right, so obviously this is not the most pleasant barracks. Um, in terms of prisoner interaction, I do want to convert. Yeah. Alright. We'll get some steel, build the floor, and build some lights. Alright, this is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. Like, what are you doing? Can someone clean the floors here? Alright, Sheet, once you're done, you gotta clean up, man. Someone's gotta clean these floors. Uh, clean the barracks, please. Good sir, if you don't mind. There's blood and dirt everywhere. Um, uh, build a flare, knocks out our power. It's not the worst thing imaginable. Jumper's still building walls? I imagine so. Mike is praying, or meditating, rather. Mike, I need you to be quick about the things you do. You're getting plenty of food. This is why I want it. Oh, hauling wood. Why are you hauling wood? I feel like, Mike, you should be researching. That's your number one priority right now. 
I think maybe we should put another door here. Maybe. Trying to convert her. Okay, we're getting an eclipse and a solar flare. We get it. I get it. I need you to plant some cotton, Slag. What are you doing? Taking forever. Now, we might be able to... I was thinking about, you know, maybe just getting rid of Slag. I mean, we... We might be able to treat her alcoholism by just giving her more alcohol. Uh, that doesn't account for the ambrosia uh, addiction, though, so that's problematic. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there is a mod that we can add where we can grow ambrosia, which would make things a lot easier. We might look into that as the situation gets worse. Because ambrosia... Is such a random appearing thing that we can't really guarantee that it will be here. A long solar flare. Can you speed it up there, Randy? Good old buddy. We were going to do a uh, ritual last episode, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe we should try that. See if we can get someone going here. Right, the flare is over. We have, yeah, we got a decent amount of power. Not much excess, though. May have to go ahead and build the second generator like we were going to do before. All right, so but we need some more steel. We're having trouble managing everything right now. Jumper is also a pretty good miner. Uh, we do want jumper just to build these walls. Now we don't have enough. We don't have enough uh, sandstone, limestone at the moment, so we might just send jumper to do some mining. Sheet, I think we're good on food. So can you just clean for me instead? How about that, pal. The cooking to clean. Right, we really need you to start sewing, Slag. But that's that's really why we wanted you to come here. Not just to harvest, but to sew as well. I mean, honestly, you shouldn't be botching anything. You're at an 8.38 in terms of planting. Oh, here comes a raid. Only one, though. Now, this is, now every time someone raids us, I see it has the potential to get a new member on our team. Um, bop, 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 bop. Do we want this guy in our team? He's a misogynist. And we do have women on our spot. But look at these stats, man. Crafting, intellectual. Oh, that's right. What? Wait, if we can recruit him successfully to our team, he could be our full-time researcher and crafter. And he's good in the fight. But um, if we can only enslave this guy, slaves can't do intellectual work. So... That's interesting. Now, this guy is attacking immediately, so maybe we should meet him on the battlefield here. Guys, um, let's draft up here. Everyone inside. Let's see. He should be coming. Yeah, he's probably going to come this way, right? Hey, down here, Grant. Where are you going, pal? All right, he's just going to find his own route into the base. Annoying. I mean, our walls are still made of... Okay, he's coming back now. Make up your mind, dude. I was going to say our walls are made of wood, so that's always a risk, which is why I wanted to replace them with stone as soon as possible. All right, Grant's coming around the corner. Stay sharp, guys. I mean, he's got, he's got a few trees for cover, and he's got a pistol. That's not the best. Got on this guy? I'm going to run for the trees. Okay, guys, uh, move up. Cheat. Just straight up melee attack this guy. Go for stones for cover. We should pull back. Yeah, we're gonna pull back. Oh, you jumper! Yeah, we're gonna pull back. Not gonna give many easy targets. Maybe we'll stay here for now, though. See what he does. Well, you're a smart one, aren't you, Grant? All right, guys, take this corner and see what he does. Um, actually, you two... This is a mistake. I mean, he's likely going to take the corner for cover. So we don't want to give him a shot on our guys before he gets there. So maybe we should pull them back and let Sheet go up front in terms of meleeing. Now, let's see how this plays out. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Sheet just blitz him. Nice. Um, and he's not dead. Okay. Um I don't think we're I don't think we're um 
we're taking too much on ourselves by trying to <laughs> get a couple guys in here. You know, we're throwing anything at the wall at the moment and seeing if it sticks. I'm gonna undraft you guys. Mike wants to eat, but I'd rather I'd rather you capture this guy, capture Grant for me. Good news, guys, we got more marijuana, and we got another pistol, which is always good. What are you doing, jumper? He's climbing. All right. Probably need a door on this side, don't we? Yeah, we do. Let's see. Structure, steel door. Pop. There we go. All right, let's speed up things. How's Slag doing? I think Slag had a catharsis, right? Yeah, so she's going to be doing good for a day or so. Um, yeah, she's really, really suffering from alcohol withdrawal. If we could get Mike to... All right, she's, she's always capturing dudes, you know what I mean? Um, Jumper, could you possibly make this place not a shithole by building it up a little bit? Thanks, doll. Uh, we don't have power lines. I keep forgetting. Oh, no, it's fine, though. I, just, I think it's fine. Can you just finish... Thing, please, yes, sir. Can you do that for me, guy? Why are you doing it one piece at a time, my dude? I think it's because his priority at the moment is mining, so he's gonna keep going back and forth. All right, so damn it, jumper, you're getting on my nerves. All right, two for you, jumper. Finish building this, please, if you don't mind, and work on this wooden bed. All right, that's built. Fantastic. This is going to be Grant's bed. Um, not for prisoners. I can't assign this. Guess not. All right, Grant should be fine. He'll be fine. I'm worried that we're soon going to be outnumbered by the people we're enslaving and capturing. All right, so we still haven't done our ritual, but we do have some potential members. It's like might be okay if we could just, you know, A, keep her under control and... Uh, keep her addictions under control as well. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, ship to the stars. Yeah, I know this quest. This is just the one to get off world. We're nowhere near being able to get off world yet. So let's just wait on that uh, transport pod crash. Interesting. Ah, he's not affiliated. Do we want to capture this guy? We probably do. I'm worried that we're just taking on people too quickly here. We went from three to potentially seven people in just a single episode. Getting out in 11 hours. Fast learner and a cannibal. Well, you're not gonna be getting that cannibal buff. Um, fast learner is good though. Good construction, good cooking, decent medical. I mean, how do we not capture this person? We're gonna have to recruit them. Um, how does how do we feel about people who aren't the same ideology as us? I think we're proselytizers, right? Uh, let's see: slavery, scarification, apostasy. That's not what we're looking for. What about diversity of thought? We don't care. Okay, we're still gonna proselytize though, like crazy. Pretty sure. Yeah. Well, occasional. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, we'll do that. All right, Mike, so go rescue our, uh, our new potentially, uh, friend, mate, who knows? All right, um, rescue him. Rescuing him will make him a member of the colony, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, what was the, um, notification? You can rescue him, just want to capture him. Hmm. Hmm, maybe we should just capture him then. We don't, we don't want to lose another guy, uh, potentially. God damn, that's a lot of prisoners. Three prisoners and a slave. I mean, what could go wrong? And Mike is going to be never getting any research done because she's going to be constantly taking care of these guys, you know, trying to recruit them. It's going to be a whole thing. All right, so hopefully you're, you're yeah. Well, she's got asthma. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? We could just release him. I mean, there's, you know, we're not obligated to, to have this person stick around. We could have a slave, though. What happens if we enslave this person? Who's throwing a party? Mike? I mean, you know, probably need one, to be honest. All right, so Sheet's having a smoke, keeping his, his uh, spirits up, which is good. 
We might need to jump her. What do you? Oh yeah, come on construction. I took him off mining. Jumper, go back to mining, good sir. After the party's over, of course. Slag, if you planted one crop today, I think I would lose my mind. Like you're just doing everything but planting, and Mike is doing everything but researching. So this is kind of annoying. All right, the thing about research is you can't force anyone to research. Like it's kind of a thing they do when they have nothing else to do, for lack of a better way to describe that. I mean, is she still cutting plants? No, she's sleeping. I mean, Mike works hard. What are you going to do? All right, so guys, we got a few prisoners we've captured today. Uh, Vicky, I can't even pronounce, what's your name? Game? Let's just call you Game. And we have here Grant. Worked for Grantham. So these are uh, potential members. Not to mention Slag, who we successfully enslaved, and who's up on her feet. So things are looking up. I don't want these videos to go too long. I know we didn't get a chance to um, to make the brewing station, which is very frustrating. So essentially, what you do, guys, is once you unlock the brewing, you know, you plant, you, you pop down the old the old brewing station from the vanilla game, and then you can make these big barrels that you can fill with uh, corn mash. And then once the mash ferments, you can take it out and sell the whiskey or you could put the whiskey back in to age it some more so it's really cool mechanics and it's very lucrative um especially when you get like a uh, trade beacon going but we didn't get there today because we've been doing everything but that uh but stick around guys part uh what is it part four five part five coming up very soon uh thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>